Hello little paleontologist. Today in our prehistoric playground, we have five mighty carnivore dinosaurs ready to face off against the sea animals in an epic mud adventure. Get ready for an epic showdown as five carnivore dinosaurs take on the sea animals in an adventurous mud expedition. Are you ready for a road some time? Let's go! Our first animal is a sea animal. This is fin whale. The fin whale is a magnificent marine mammal known for its large size and a streamlined body. Fin whales are known for their complex and low frequency vocalizations, which can travel long distances underwater. Let's move on to the next animal, which is seal. Seals are divided into three main families, true seals, eared seals, and the walrus. Seals are found in both polar and temperate waters, and seals have streamlined bodies and powerful limbs adapted for swimming. Seals are carnivores. Let's move on to the next animal, which is hammerhead shark. Hammerhead sharks are a distinctive group of sharks, known for their unique hammerhead shape, called cephalophoils. Hammerheads are carnivorous predators that primarily feed on fish, rays, and other small sharks. Let's see what our next animal is. Oh, that is octopus. Octopuses are considered to be highly intelligent invertebrates. They exhibit problem-solving abilities and can learn through observation. They have complex nervous systems with a large brain relative to their body size Let's see which animal is next. Hey, it's a squid. A squid are known for their unique method of locomotion called jet propulsion. The giant squid is one of the largest invertebrates in the world. They can reach lengths of up to 43 feet and have the largest eyes in the animal kingdom. Squid generally have short life spans. Let's check out the next animal and our next animal is whale shark. Whale sharks are the largest non-fish species in the world. They can grow to an average length of 12 meters. Their distinctive appearance includes a wide mouth, a flattened head and a pattern of pale yellow spots and stripes on their dark grayish blue or brownish skin. Let's move on to the next animal which is Stingray. Stingrays belong to a diverse group of rays with over 200 different species. They are part of the Elasmo branch family, which also includes sharks. Stingrays are found in both salt water. Let's see what our next animal is. That is Orca Whale. Orcas belong to the family Delphinidae, making them the largest members of the dolphin family. Adult male orcas typically range from 20 to 26 feet in length. Orcas are apex predators and have a diverse diet that includes fish, squid, and marine mammals such as seals and sea lions. Let's see which animal is next. Hey, it's a blue whale. 
Blue whales are the largest animals on earth with adults reaching lengths of up to 100 feet or more. Their heart alone can weigh as much as a small car. Blue whales are filter feeders and primarily consume tiny shrimp-like animals called krill. Let's see who is the next animal. And the next animal is lobster. Lobsters are ancient creatures that have been around for millions of years. They belong to a group of animals called decapods, which means 10 footed. Lobsters come in various sizes. And our next animal is shark. There are over 500 different species of sharks ranging from the tiny dwarf latent shark to the massive whale shark which can grow up to 40 feet or more. Unlike most fish, sharks have skeletons made out of cartilage rather than bone. This makes them more flexible and lighter. Let's move on to the next animal which is Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon is often mistakenly thought to be a dinosaur, but it actually predates dinosaurs by several million years. It belongs to a group called Synapsids, which includes the common ancestors of mammals. Fossils of Dimetrodon have been found in North America. And our next dinosaur is Stegosaurus. The name Stegosaurus is derived from the Greek words Stegos meaning roof and Sauros meaning lizard. This name reflects the distinctive plates that run along the dinosaur's back. Stegosaurus was a large dinosaur with an average length of about 23 feet and a height around 9 feet. And our next dinosaur is Pachycephalosaurus. The name Pachycephalosaurus is derived from Greek words and means thick-headed lizard. This means reflects the dinosaur's distinctive thick and skull. Pachycephalosaurus is famous for its thick domed skull which could be up to 10 inches thick in some individuals. And our second last animal is Mementosaurus. Mementosaurus is a genus of sauropod dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period. Approximately 160 to 145 million years ago. The first fossils of Mementosaurus were discovered in the Sichuan province of China in 1952. As a sauropod, Mementosaurus belonged to a group of long-necked herbivorous dinosaurs. And our last animal is Tyrannosaurus rex. The name Tyrannosaurus rex means Tyrant Lizard King in Greek. The first fossils of Tyrannosaurus rex were discovered in the late 19th century in Western North America. And it remains one of the most well-known and studied dinosaurs. Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs with an estimated length of up to 40 feet. Tyrannosaurus rex
Thank you for joining our five carnivore dinosaurs versus sea animals. Until our next prehistoric journey, bye bye little paleontologists.